Lab assignment, if equipment is working, the density function of the observed outcome is given below. Calculate probability x less than or equal to one-fifth. So we know that probability x less than or equal to one-fifth is just integral from negative infinity to one-fifths of the probability function. And that would be, so you don't have anything from negative infinity to zero. So basically it would be from zero to one fifths. And over there, the function would be two times one minus X. So you can pull the two out and it's X minus X squared by two. Zero to one fifths equals so this would be, we can multiply the two inside now. So it'd be two X minus X squared. So two fifths, when you put X equals one fifth, so minus one fifth whole square. Uh, okay, so two fifths is 0.4 and one fifth whole square is 0 0.04. So 0 0.4 minus 0 0.04 would be 0.36. What's the probability that X will exceed 0 0.11? So probability X is greater than 0.11. Now you would do 0 0.11 to infinity fx. But you don't go all the way up to infinity. You finish at one, Other, everything else is zero. So two times one minus x. And once again, x minus x squared by two, 0 0.11 to one equals 2x minus x square 0.11 to 1 equals 2 minus 1 when you put x equals 1 and then minus the lower limit. In the previous part, the lower limit was 0, so we gain nothing by that. In this case, uh, it's a non-zero one, so we have to put that as well. So 2 times 0.11 is 0.22 minus 0.11 square. So let's see, so what is this uh, 0.78 plus 0.0121, so 0 0.7921, 0.792. Okay, now, this is some, uh, something new, the part C. And now we have a conditional probability here. So let's just open a new page, new window. So given that X is greater than or equal to 0 0.11, what's the probability that X will be less than 0.35? So they've just symbolized it for us that we have to find probability X less than 0.35 given X is greater than or equal to 0 0.11. So probability X less than 0.35 given that X is greater than or equal to 0.11 by our conditional probability formula it equals probability X less than 0.35. Let's write it in the next line equals probability X less than 0.35 and X greater than or equal to 0.11 divided by probability X greater than or equal to 0.11. So we just applied the formula for probability A given B. Now X less than 0.35 and greater than or equal to 0.11, and we need to combine this. This would be probability X 
is greater than or equal to 0 0.11 and less than 0 0.35. And in the bottom, we have probability that's greater than or equal to 0 0.11. So between 0 0.11 and 0 0.35, we need to calculate this. Luckily, we already have a probability x greater than or equal to 0 0.11, which is the same as x greater than 0 0.11, that's 0 0.792. So let's just calculate the numerator first. So that, in essence, would be, so probability, or we can just do it right here. So the top would be integral from 0.11 to 0 0.35, two times one minus X. And the bottom is already calculated as 0 0.792. So to four decimal places, it was 0.7921. I'm just writing four decimal places. Because if you, in general, if you need the final answer to three decimal places, uh, it's good, good practice to have one more decimal place at least in the intermediate answers. So this would be, so we've integrated this a bunch of time, it ends up being two X minus X squared. Now we have new limits, 0 0.11, 0 0.35, and you're dividing it by 0.7921. So when you put x equals 0 0.35, two times 0 0.35 is 0 0.7, and then minus 0 0.35 square, minus two times 0 0.11 is 0 0.22, and minus 0 0.11 square, over 0 0.7921, and let's see what that comes up. 0.7 minus 0.35 square, minus 0.22, Two plus point oh one two one divided by point seven nine two one point four six seven. Okay. Mm. 